Welcome to Goalie's Pip Academy. Hey there, weather wizards. Welcome to another episode of Weather Wiz Kids. Today, we're diving into the wild world of weather. Ready to ride the storm? Let's go. So, when you woke up this morning, did you check the weather? You probably did, and that's because it's super important to know when to grab your heavy coat and snow boots or when to put on your swimming suit. You wouldn't wear a coat in the heat or a swimsuit in the cold, right? Weather is like the ultimate mystery novel, always changing, always surprising. But what is weather exactly? Weather describes what's happening outside at any given time of day. It can be hot or cold, wet or dry, clear or cloudy, or calm or stormy. Sometimes it's all these things at once. These changes in weather are thanks to a layer of gases around Earth called the atmosphere. The atmosphere is like Earth's superhero cape, protecting us and keeping our planet at just the right temperature. It's pop quiz time. Are you ready to test your knowledge? Weather can be hot, cold, wet, dry, clear, cloudy, calm, or stormy. A, true, B, false. Did you select the option A? Yes, you are right. Weather also depends on how close or far a place is from the equator. The equator is an imaginary line that separates the northern and southern halves of the Earth. The closer you are to the equator, the warmer it gets. Where you live can make a huge difference in the weather you see. For instance, the weather near the ocean is often way different from the weather near a tall mountain range. A meteorologist is a person who studies and predicts the weather. You've probably seen them on the news, standing in front of a weather map, giving forecasts or educated guesses about what the weather will be like during the week. All right, weather wizards, let's dive into the different types of weather and how each is measured. Weather can be hot, cold, or somewhere in between. This hotness or coldness is measured by temperature. Temperature depends on the motion of energy and the speed of gas molecules in the air. Faster molecules mean higher temperatures, which means hotter weather. And guess what tool is used to measure temperature? That's right, a thermometer, and it measures temperature in units called degrees. It's time for another quiz. What tool measures temperature? A, thermometer. B, barometer. C, anemometer. D, hygrometer. Did you select the option A? Yes, you are absolutely right. Have you ever been near the ocean or maybe in a desert? The air around you can feel different depending on where you are. This difference is called humidity, which tells us the amount of water vapor in the air. Even though you can't see this water, you can definitely feel it. Higher humidity means more moisture or water vapor in the air. Fun fact. If there's too much water vapor, it will start to rain. Humidity is measured by a tool called a hygrometer. Did you know that air pressure affects whether it's a clear or cloudy day? Remember the atmosphere? Well, air pressure is the weight of the atmosphere pressing down on Earth, also called atmospheric pressure. Air pressure is measured by a tool called a barometer. High pressure usually means fair and sunny weather while low pressure brings clouds, rain, or snow. All right, it's the last question. What does a barometer measure? A, humidity, B, temperature, C, air pressure, D, wind speed. Did you select the option C? You are right. Let's move on. When you're stuck in a storm, you'll notice that wind is almost always involved. Wind is air moving from higher pressure areas to lower pressure areas. Wind speed is affected by the heating of the Earth's surface and the rotation of the Earth. The landforms around can also change wind speed, turning a gentle breeze into a strong gust. Wind speed is measured by a device called an anemometer. Today, we explored the amazing world of weather. From hot and cold to wet and dry, clear and cloudy to calm and stormy, We've got it all covered. And remember, this fantastic forecast was brought to you by Goalie. 
the best kids tablet. My mind is blown. Where can I learn more about these videos? Oh yeah, getgoalie.com. There's no ads, there's no junk, just cool stuff for kids and a dedicated tablet. Check it out, getgoalie.com.